walk into any woodworking store and there'll be a bunch of clamps to choose from, can get a bit confusing. I wanna have a chat about parallel clamps specifically today. They're essentially an evolution from the F clamps that have been around for years. My dad had them in his workshop and they were around for a lot longer before that. The development of parallel clamps has just improved a bit on F clamps and has made some of the woodworking uh, techniques, clamping techniques, easier and more efficient. Four main benefits of a parallel clamp over an F clamp as I see it. Number one, you've got a really large clamping face. F clamps, it's usually a little round point and a slightly larger point on the other end. On these, it's huge. Second advantage, these big faces are parallel to each other and at right angles to the bar. So that just helps you reference your edges when you're clamping and I'll go through that in a little more detail. The third advantage of these parallel clamps, and most of them, is they actually have a flat bottom, which means you can sit them on a table and they're gonna stay there and you can lay panels down on top of that. You generally can't do that with an F clamp. You'd have to go into more of a sash clamp or a pipe clamp or something like that. So that gives these way more versatility. The fourth thing is with these and you know most parallel clamps, you can pop the end piece off here without any tools remove this main mechanism, flip it around so that you can use it as a spreader because the back face of the tail piece here can actually be used as a clamping surface as well. So some F clamps will allow you to turn them around, but a lot of them won't because the back face of the tail piece usually isn't designed to take clamping pressure. So the first thing I mentioned was the really large flat clamping face. This just gives you a ton of versatility when you're going to clamp whatever it is that you're trying to clamp. So obviously the traditional way that you would use something like an F clamp is you'd, um, whether it's panels or something else, you'd need to place those two clamping surfaces right on the edge that you were trying to join. With these larger parallel clamps, that entire surface is your clamping area. What that means is that in the case of these Bessie and some of the other parallel clamps, you can actually place the object to the side and get good clamping pressure on a really nice narrow edge that's not applying pressure somewhere on the panels that's gonna fold the object. You can actually use the bottom face if you are working on some really thin panels that are flat on a table and you wanna clamp down from the top, you can do it this way. And of course, you can use that whole larger surface for applying pressure in a really even and parallel way that is not gonna be yeah, folding those edges in. Parallel clamps usually also come with uh, some sort of plastic protection for the bar itself, which means that your timber, your delicate veneers are not gonna be in contact with the metal surfaces, and that's gonna protect your work when you're applying that pressure. So given all the advantages and versatility of a parallel clamp, you wanna go buy one. How are you gonna choose between you know, the, uh, the Bessie German-made high-end parallel clamp and maybe one of the uh, store brands or something that's more generic. So there are a couple of features that are worth checking out that will kind of separate these two and help you make that decision. The first difference that's fairly obvious when you look at these two clamps is the bar itself on this uh, Torcata clamp is just a lot smaller than the bar on the Bessie clamp. This is a heavier clamp, there's a lot more metal in it, and as a result, this clamp has, uh, can apply literally twice the pressure that this clamp does. Now, this doesn't mean that this is a weakling by any chance. Like, this will clamp up your panels, uh, it'll do all of the box work that you need it to. Anywhere that you were using your F clamp, this will do the job and it will apply up the pressure that you need it to. But if you're looking to upgrade and you want to move into parallel clamps and you're hoping to get something that will not, not only replace your F clamps but potentially also replace your pipe clamps or your uh, sash clamps, that's when you might look at something like the Bessie here. Now, that extra force, that extra strength that this clamp applies, you know, it comes with a price tag. It's, it's almost twice the price, which is no small thing because no one buys one clamp. You're gonna have to buy a few of them. And you're probably gonna buy them in different sizes and that adds up, I understand that. Um, so that's where it really comes down to what are you gonna be using them for? 
If I was joining a bunch of really thick tables, 40, 50 thicker timber stock, um, really nice wide panels, dining tables and that sort of thing, I'm not sure that I'd want to be using these for that job over and over and over. You'd get a lot more flex in the bar, which could potentially mean a less straight um, table panel. You know, you'd need to apply more pressure to keep that flat. This can apply the clamping pressure you need without introducing as much of that flex. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't do it with both of these, but long term in a professional environment or just even an environment where you're wanting really nice, high quality joins on that big, thick, heavy stock, something like this is just gonna do a better job and it's gonna last you longer. Another thing that makes this Bessie clamp a uh, you know more professional product, which given the price is what you'd hope, is you've actually got a hex key at the end of this handle, which means that rather than just applying hand pressure, you can actually put a ratchet in there to really tighten things down if you need to. And the clamp will take it. Something I've heard a couple of people say is, you know, the plastic body on the Bessie clamps kind of puts them off, but inside there, you've got solid steel components. What the plastic does is protect all of your timber work from contact with a bunch of metal where you've got glue around and you can create tarnish and that sort of thing. So don't worry about the casing. This is a really strong clamp. The other thing that the Bessie offers you that this Torcata doesn't is a range of accessories which you'd need to purchase that really broaden the areas that you can use these clamps in. The first thing which is really useful, and you know, there are ways that you could make something like this yourself, are these um, clamping blocks that allow you to stand a bunch of clamps at right angles to getting, for getting really nice square frames. So what this framing set allows you to do is actually locate these clamps into the slots and then place another one at right angles to get really nice, neat mitre joins where you've actually got the clamps crossing over. So if you were gonna do this without these blocks, what you'd need to do generally is put one of the clamps on top and one of the clamps on the bottom and it can get really awkward to adjust them and tighten them. So I've only got two clamps here to demonstrate, but generally this would be done with four clamps, but you can see how those two clamps meet at right angles. You can place your panel or what it would be is a, uh, you know, a mitre framed, for instance, a uh, picture frame or something like that, or a box. And now you've got the ability to clamp at right angles at each corner and get those mitre joints really nice and tight and neat in a simple way. Now, this framing set is designed specifically to use with the Bessie clamps. It's pretty simple. It's not advanced technology. It's a piece of plastic with some slots in it. You could use an other, an, a uh, different clamp in here, except what I found is unless the uh, beam is exactly the same size, they flop around and they don't stay nice and square. But you could potentially use them with other clamps if you wanted to. Another accessory that you can use with the Bessie clamps but not with the other clamps is this uh, extender piece. What it allows you to do is actually join two of these clamps together to get a much larger clamp, which again, you're just adding to the versatility of the clamps that you have. It's pretty awkward to be moving around with uh, you know 1.8 meter long clamps if what you're doing is smaller, but this piece will allow you to use all of your 900s for larger work as well. So that's worth keeping in mind, just increases the versatility. Another accessory are these tilting adapters. What they do is actually slide down onto um, your clamping plate here and it allows you to clamp at odd angles because they have a variable pivot on both faces. So if you were clamping a frame together that was not exactly square, maybe it was a parallelogram or some sort of other odd shape, this would allow you to use parallel clamps in a way that otherwise they just wouldn't be able to do. So again, it just increases the versatility. Bessie has thought of a lot of cool products that really help extend the range of their clamps. You are paying more for the clamps themselves, but like I said, you are, you're getting a lot more for what you're buying. So if you're looking at buying clamps, you know, 
Parallel clamps are gonna cost you a little bit more, but they're gonna save you a bunch of time and they just offer so much more versatility. So, you know, the Torcata clamps will get you uh, a lot of that functionality at a significantly less price than something like the Bessie will. But if you're looking at setting yourself up to replace not only your F clamps, but also your sash clamps and pipe clamps and larger things, then the Bessie at a higher price tag is gonna be one clamp that does a lot more for you, can offer uh, more durability, more strength, more clamping force. So, you know, that's why you would pay the extra money for that. They are really versatile, you know, they're an exciting product. You can jump online and pick them up from the Timcon website or go and talk to the people in store. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next video.